Okay guys, so we're gonna be just showing you how to prep your phone and transfer everything and uh, just to make sure you understand how to send the trade to Apple because they're changing up quite a bit of things. This is the box that they send now. If you have a specific layer of protection, you have to shut it off because you won't be able to shut off the Find My on the iPhone. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to make sure you prepare your phone for the trade-in. So this is my new phone and this is the old phone. Obviously you can see by the notch. Whenever you're in Find My, obviously you can see I shut it off, but when it's on, this is what you're gonna see. Now, every single time you have your iPhone and you have a specific feature turned on, which is gonna be a safety feature, you have to make sure to shut it off about an hour it takes to shut it off and then you can disengage Find My. So let me just really quickly show you how to turn it on and you do the same way, you just shut it off the specific safety feature on the new phone. So I will turn it on here. So as you can see that the settings for protection, I'm gonna scroll down. So here's the feature that will not allow you to shut off the Find My. If you do have this on, the Find My won't be able to be disengaged. So whenever you have this stolen device protection on, after you shut it off, so you can utilize the Find My disengagement and send off your your trade device to Apple. So you have to shut off the Find My device on that phone that you're trying to send to Apple and erase it, just so it can be usable for them to you know, resell it or do whatever they wanna do with it. I'm gonna show you how to turn on, on the new device, the feature of stolen device protection and what it does for the person who has the stolen device protection on. If for some reason a theft happens, your phone is stolen and they know your passcode, so you have an hour to find your phone when it was stolen because whoever stole the iPhone, they won't be able to disengage the Find My if this feature is on, which is, I think, I think that's really cool that Apple has this feature. So I'm gonna turn it on. So he said, require security delay, always from familiar location, always. I'll just put this one, it's always from familiar. The delay will be required when you're not at familiar location such as your home work change. So away from familiar locations. So that means if it's been stolen and it's really at your home, at your house, they obviously can just shut it off and you know simply move on and sell your device or do whatever it needs to be done with the device, whatever the thieves do, moving on. So we're gonna get this one done. When you go to iCloud, find my, find mine and you can see it's grayed out. It took me hours to talk to Apple geniuses or whatever they call them to get this thing off and I can actually send this device back to the Apple for trade-in. Just so you know, this is how it works. So we're gonna put this one away because we don't need the new iPhone. Now we have this device right here and what we're gonna do is we obviously shut off, disable, and shut off. And it will ask you your password. Find my is done. And then we go to your general and scroll all the way down, and then transfer or reset the phone. We we'll click on that. You can say prepare for a new iPhone. Obviously I've already done that. And now what I will do is I will do the erase all content and settings from this phone. So I want to take off all that stuff from this phone so this phone will be ready to go for whoever is going to be using it next so let's say continue erase iphone obviously do the passcode and voila that's how it's done so then after it's going to go through this process which is going to take about a minute we're going to open this box i'm going to show you how to package it and uh, how to take it to your UPS or I'm pretty sure UPS is the one that they use for to return the iPhone. And keep in mind the moment UPS scans your iPhone or scans your package, 
at that time, the, will, the Apple will be notified that you just sent your device. So they will be actually knowing that you send it in time and you're not late. Because after I talked to an Apple representative, he told me the moment you have a trade-in and the moment you get your iPhone, the new iPhone in mail, you get it at your house, that's when the time starts ticking, which is 10 business days that you have to send your trade-in to them. With this box, I'm gonna show you, there's like a little flops, take these flops out. So this is the box. Make sure you go to your iCloud account. So go to your settings, iCloud account, and then go to your phone, all the way in the bottom. The one that you're trying to trade in, just click on that. Find mine is off, everything's off, and then remove from the account. I don't know if you can see it, remove from the account. We're gonna click on that, remove this iPhone. I always suggest to make sure to put this phone, like shut it off by holding these uh, volume button up and the power button for a few seconds, then slide to power it off. Then you just simply put your iPhone, put your iPhone in, cover it up like so, then flip, flip, and do not take this little red tag. All it is is for them to open it. Then get this sticky paper off, put the flops away, Put this piece in first. There we go. Then flip it around and cover it like so. Give it to UPS representative at your UPS or even post office, they actually take that as well. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask them down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, stay awesome, my friend. See ya.